Now, some supporters of Nigerian President Omaru Yaradua plan a legal challenge to the appointment of Vice President Goodluck Jonathan as acting leader. Nigerian lawmakers make the move more than 10 weeks after President Yaradua left for medical treatment in Saudi Arabia. Scott Stearns reports from the Nigerian capital. Demyaki and Vincent, Nigeria's Bar Association, says it believes the temporary transfer of power to Vice President Goodluck Jonathan is not in line with the Constitution. Members of the ruling party from the president's home state say they believe it will be overturned in court. Nigeria's constitution allows for the temporary transfer of power from president to vice president whenever the president notifies lawmakers in writing that he's either on vacation or is otherwise unable to discharge the duties of his office. But lawmakers acted Tuesday not on the basis of such a written communique. Instead, they acted based on a radio interview the president gave in which he said he's in Saudi Arabia receiving medical treatment. Senate President David Mark said lawmakers had the authority to act because Nigeria's constitution did not envisage the crisis the country was facing. The Economic Community of West African States says it's pleased by the decision. Mark Manture is commissioner for political affairs. We are more pleased with the fact that the institutions in Nigeria are very strong. This is exactly the type of development we'd like to see in other member states, whereby the institution, the civil society, the press, you know, the whole media comes out to take ownership of the process, of the democratic process, and make sure that rules are abide by when they are agreed by the majority of the citizens, so they are abide by. So we are pleased with the new development and we feel like it's showing the way to, uh, you know, the way out of the, this uh, institutional crisis. Accepting his appointment, acting President Jonathan admitted the unusual circumstances surrounding the move and called on all Nigerians to come together for the good of the country. Back to you in Washington.